this is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. This video is going to be about a modification that I made to my Torque slingshot that I got recently from uh, Fowler's Makery Mischief. And I'm also, for the first time ever, going to attempt to shoot the slingshot frameless, which means that there's going to be no f Y frame. I'm going to be shooting off of my fingers. I've never done it before, um, and now because of the Torque slingshot that I have with me, Originally, it came with tube bands. Unfortunately, when I draw it back with the tube bands, it doesn't come all the way to my lip like a normal draw length would. So it like, it's coming right up to the front of me. Because the reason why is because it's made for the average shooter, not for like you know bigger guys like me with a bigger, longer draw length. So I'm gonna show you the first modification that I made to my Torque slingshot. Uh, the bands that are on here were the ba spare bands that I ordered with the slingshots. This is actually Fowler's Variety Pack ones. So let's unravel that. So these flat bands that came here were the ones that came with Fowler's. As you can see, there's actually a... I can't hold this right. That's a Fowler's little stamp uh, signature right there, actually. And these are tied on. So my problem with the slingshot, and believe me, I... Uh, this slingshot's awesome. I love it to death. My problem is with my thumb and my first finger here, basically, let's pull the bands back. My finger would just slip off. It was very, very smooth right here and on the bottom edge as well. So when I'm holding it, sometimes it would do this. Sometimes my finger, if I gripped it tightly enough, my finger might slip off. There's a lot of moisture in the air, obviously, with winter now. because uh, So my finger and my thumb would slip off sometimes and, and move it around. So at first I thought to myself, maybe take some sanding paper and just rough it up, but uh, unfortunately that did not work. And I thought, at, secondly, I'd take uh, some hockey grip tape and just put it over the top here and over the bottom here. But the problem with that is, is that that doesn't last. You know, with my fingers and sweat and constantly gripping it tightly, you know, that's going to come off sooner or later, in which case it's going to be me replacing. So... What I did actually was what a friend of mine showed me once a long time ago with one of his uh, knives, a K-Bar BK2 that he had. It's like a plasticky type of handle. And what he did is he take a hot poker with a candle, heat up the poker, and just poke, heat it up, poke it, heat it up, poke, and just makes all these little circular indentations, almost like little circular poke holes almost, and take a little sanding paper to it, and thusly it makes grips. So as you can see, that's what I did here. And on this side is here as well. So after I finished, I took sanding paper, just smoothed it out, took all those really sharp edges off. So right now there's the holes are there, but now when I'm holding it, I got a maximum level of grip, and it works really good. It make it doesn't compromise the uh, strength and integrity at all. And uh, one of my other friends uh, who has a slingshot did the same thing, and he's been shooting his for the last two years now, and he's had no problems whatsoever. This is the only modification I made to the slingshot frame itself. And I can shoot, and I can draw this back to my ear, which is my draw length. And I've been shooting this quite nicely, so now it doesn't have that potential of slipping around like that. And it fits in my hand really nicely, and I absolutely love this. It's awesome. All right, so. Now this slingshot came with two bands, which I do not use. I made modifications to them to try to get them to work. Unfortunately, it still did not work. So what I've done actually now is I uh, stretched up the line, retied the pouch on, and tied a knot on one end, which I'm going to show you in a second. It's actually on my wrist right now. So let's take that off and show you. So this is the bands that came with the slingshot originally. I just uh, simply untied the uh, the pouch and just simply retied it to my purpose. And now I just got a little knot on the end here. And there you go. I've been watching a lot of how-to videos. I mean like a whole lot of how-to videos online on how to shoot uh, with two bands frameless, which means shooting with your hands. So. How I've done this, decided to do this, I've been practicing my form. I didn't shoot any rounds last night, but I was practicing my form, trying to get it to work my th thumbs and fingers. So this is the way I'm going to show you. This is not a how-to video here. I'm just showing you my technique, but I'm stressing this enough 
This is not for beginners. If you are a beginner, do not attempt this. This is very dangerous. If you are in a position where you're shooting your slingshot and you hit the frame quite often or possibly in your fingers, do not attempt this at all. This is dangerous. I recommend this only to people who are very experienced. And I've been shooting regularly for the past month and a half now. And I've been shooting on and off for the past two years with flat band slingshots and just in general slingshots for the past since I was 12. So, so the way I'm going to hold this here, my two bottom fingers, just going to go around like that on the inside of my finger. Then I just curl my fingers like that. And what I want to do with my fingers is make a C, like the letter C. And basically the top tube is going to go around my fingernail. The bottom tube is going to go around my thumbnail. That's the method that works for me. Some people will actually have it stretched across their thumb like that, but I find that it slips off too easily. So I give this a little stretch out. Close my, keep my fingers closed on the inside there. And there we go. So when you're holding this, you want to tilt your hand enough so that way I'm no longer being able to see through that C letter on my hand that uh, I can no longer see my middle finger. And that's where you want to go. So every time I've dry fired this to practice my form, not once ever has the pouch ever touched my fingers, ever. And it's never hurt so far, so I'm hoping that this is going to work. I'm nervous. I've never done this before. I've never shot this before like this. I'm stressing that enough. I just got out here a short time ago, and I, haven't I have not practiced this in advance. This will be my first time. So I'd say either you're going to see a very successful shot or a very painful shot. Three-eighths thick steel ammo. There's the ammo shot right there. Give me a stretch of my hands. It takes a little practice to get this on your hands correctly. All right, there we go. Now we're getting something. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, wait, here we go. Right now, I'm just shooting off into the trees. There's nobody there. I know this for a fact because it's clear and I can see it all the way out there. So. Shot was successful. My heart's racing right now. I thought I was going to hit my fingers and break my finger. Oh man, that's intense. But then again, that could have been just a lucky shot too. So I got a handful of ammo here I'm going to try shooting with. See what I can get away with. There's other people on YouTube that use a different similar method with the uh, hands here. They'll actually tie this off to some sling, like a stick or a cork, just that way you got something to grip onto. I'm just doing it bare hands right now. Need some practice with loading this. Alright, here we go. Shot number two. <laughs> Not bad. I'm aiming low. I'm not aiming off into the trees. I'm aiming quite low at the moment just for the sake of the camera. But after I turn the camera off, I'm going to shoot off at uh, specific targets. Another third 3.8 steel ammo loaded into the pouch. There it is. I always pinch my uh, thumb and middle finger. There we go. So either I'm doing this, so I'm obviously doing this correctly and uh, effectively. Um, when I'm shooting with my regular slingshots, I've never had an issue with hitting the frame, hitting my fingers before. So that's why I decided it was time to give this a try. And because these tubes were kind of useless, so I wanted to repurpose them and give them some new life, so to speak. a tree that time. Uh, I don't know what kind of tubes these are, but uh, they came with the torque. So this is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. Stay safe.